This video is brought to you by Shoah. Always innovating, never imitating. Welcome to Tooling Up, a series by MSC Industrial Supply Company. The show that provides real-world insights and is brought to you by leading industry experts aimed at improving the efficiency and productivity of your operation. And now, the host of Tooling Up, Mitch Free. Welcome to Tooling Up, a series that's dedicated to improving productivity in the manufacturing industry. I'm Mitch Free. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. My guest today is Matt Petrosky. He's the Senior Product Manager with Shoa. Matt, thanks for taking the time to join me today. Appreciate it, Mitch. And uh, again, thank you for inviting me. I appreciate being part of this experience. I think it's going to be a, an interesting conversation that we can have here. Um, it's good to see you again too, Mitch. I know you and I have had some conversations in the past, so I'm yeah. um, looking forward to the opportunity. Well, you, you, it's certainly you've had an impressive, uh, impressive career, and, and you seem to have found a really great niche for yourself, and uh, you know, very, very focused path. Uh, I, I'd love to hear a little bit about your path, how you got to where you are today. Well, it's an interesting story. So, um, this last year, um, now that we're in 2023, uh, I celebrated my 20th year uh, in the hand protection industry. So, I've spent two decades of my adult life. Um, with four fingers and a thumb, I like to say all the time, and <clears throat> worked my way up, spent five years in Perfect Fit and kind of found a love for the business. And it was kind of an interesting, different kind of aspect of life for me. And after five years there, I got courted by the original owner of Perfect Fit Glove, uh, Mr. Frank Stuckey. And I got exposed to every facet of that business all the way from human resources to finance to purchasing to manufacturing, spent time in each of those departments almost deliberately. And then about five years ago, this is my fifth year now with Shoah, um, mm -hmm. I decided to change positions and, and moved over here to Shoah uh, to be the product manager. So, Matt, I'd love to talk a little bit about Shoah. You know, they have a show has a great reputation for being a leader in implementing technology and, and, and constantly innovating. I'm sure that what drew you to the company and keeps you excited every day. But what are some of the other core values that you embrace and that your your customers uh, appreciate? Sure. Yeah. And that's a great point that you bring up. Our company motto actually is uh, always innovating, never imitating. And, and show is well known in the industry for, for being arguably the most innovative uh, of the glove manufacturers today. Um, we're producing a product. Uh, it's actually our, our 10th year anniversary for it. So 10 years ago, we actually invented this this particular technology and everyone is kind of chasing us again. This biodegradable technology allows um, single-use gloves or disposable gloves, I think as most people would probably understand them uh, in the industry, mm -hmm. uh, allows for, for these particular products once they're thrown away into a landfill environment or into a garbage receptacle or, or any kind of thing like that, um, or it allows for that product to actually biodegrade much faster. Matt, a big part of, of tooling up is continued education and learning from industry leaders like yourself. And you know, when we spoke a while back, I was fascinated when you told me about what all goes into uh, uh, making nitrile gloves, the science behind it. Uh, I think our viewers would be interested as well, if you don't mind expanding on that for a moment. Sure, sure. Um... The, the science is really kind of the, the coolest part uh, of the, 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 the biodegradable technology, as we refer to uh, in, in SHOA as EBT is the acronym that we use, which stands for Eco Best Technology, but you know, to the layperson, understand as a biodegradable technology. Um, what's cool about it is we're not really changing the structure of how you manufacture a nitrile. It's a process that we add into the actual manufacturing. And basically what it does is it increases the, bio, the, the, the time frame that something biodegrades. We wanted it to be something so simple that the customer could continue to, to use the product as they were without having to change anything, without having to have some extra steps. So all they do is they use this glove, they take it off, they throw it away in a garbage can. Once that garbage eventually makes it to a landfill, that's where the magic starts to happen with the technology for biodegradation. Our EBT technology allows for 
faster biodegradation than typically a nitro a nitro glove that doesn't have it. it it seems like this product has i mean really broad market appeal appeal is there any target customer segment that you would define or, or is it just extremely broad it's a great question mitch and, and the easy answer to that is anyone who uses a disposable glove and when we think about the sheer amount of disposable gloves that are used globally every year um, the mm -hmm. estimate is going to be over about 500 billion in the B. Um, that's a significantly right. large number. So when you think of yeah. that in the sheer volume amount of gloves that are used globally, um, that's where we decided and understood that, hey, take a look at how many gloves are being used every year. What can we do to help mm -hmm. the environment? Because all of them end up in a landfill at some point. Yeah. And, and, and am I correct that these are made in the USA? Correct. Yes. A lot of these single use gloves that we're talking about, these disposable products are made in our USA facility. Um, mm -hmm. As I said before, we were the first to invent the, the nitrile glove and it was invented right here in the United States in Mississippi in 1990. We held the patent for 20 years on it. Um, and we've mm -hmm. continued to, to make that product as it is. The packaging has changed a little bit, but the product is still being made in the exact same way. <laughs> Matt, thanks so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure learning about Shoah and about your background. Uh, really impressive, uh, the commitment to manufacturing in the USA. Um, it's been a, been a real pleasure. Uh, thanks, Mitch. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the, uh, the support from MSC. Uh, always a, a, a very good customer of Shoah's and a partner over the years. Um, and appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to speak, Mitch. Absolutely. If you enjoyed the interview with Matt as much as I did, subscribe to our channel where you will find many more interesting interviews just like this one. To learn more about Shoa, their nitrile products for single use, and their commitment to the environment, visit mscdirect.com slash Shoah-EBT. See you next time on Tooling Up. Want more insights and ideas to improve the efficiency and productivity of your operations? Check out the Tooling Up video playlist to hear tips that can take your company to the next level and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out.